वंदे गुरुपद्द भक्तबिंद श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे निंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंद नंग वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सामुक्त बिंद वाछाकूप सुखी पासी व्यवच पति पावन वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखं कौति वाचालंगुंगति यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बिंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्णभक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुधीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंजन तम शरण्यम भीतात्पालभवादीभूत वंदे महापुरशते चरुणारविंद यदपल्लवन कचंद मुनी छटाए विस्फुरीजीत किमी गोवधूषुदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद सियादगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद सियाद्वैत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भुतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंद दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावाण सदा नरान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम बरान जिपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ बागीशुष वदने लक्ष्मीर्जशी यस्ति हृदय संवी ऐसीह हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ब्राह्मण सहस्रेभ्यो सत्रयाजी विशिष्यते 
शत्रुयाजी सहस्रेभ्यो सर्व वेदांत पारग सर्वो वेदांत विद्वच्चा विष्णु भक्तो विशिष्वते वैष्णवान सहस्रेभ्यो एकांतेको विशिष्वते ब्राह्मण सहस्रेभ्यो शत्रुयाजी विशिष्वते शत्रुयाजी सहस्रेभ्यो सर्वेदारग सर्वेदाचा विष्णु भक्त विशिष्वते वैष्णवान सहस्रेभ्यो एकांतेको विशिष्वते गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉपात जगदगुरु टोल इफ आई थिंक आई एम सुपीरियर टू यू देन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ इंसल्टिंग यू कमिंग गौरी गोष्ठी बोध शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगह भोपा जगत गुरु टोल वेन समबॉडी गोइंग टू थिंक आई एम आई एम आई एम सुपीरियर टू समबॉडी इन दैट केस इज गोइंग टू निग्लेक्ट इज गोइंग टू इंसल्ट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू If we are going to follow Trinadu Vibhav, and if a uh, Bhagavad Dharma is Nirmasa Dharma, Nirmasa Ranam Satam, in that case, no question of jealousy can arise. I can easily preach Hari Katha under the banner of Gauri Math and Bhakti Shidandu Saraswati. I can preach under the banner of Bhakti Shidandu Saraswati Goswami Devi Prabhupad. Under the banner of Goriamat, I can safely do. Otherwise, I can get deviated from the track of Propa. I can make you fool. Anyway, so Trinadu Vibhav is quite natural in the way of, you know, Hari Bhajan. It's quite natural. There cannot be any jealousy, any, you know, superiority complex. <clears throat> nothing can be there it's quite natural why we cannot see krishna somebody asking to so, prabhu bhat can you show krishna have you seen krishna in your life somebody out of his challenging mood going to put question in front of sila prabhu bhat <coughs> have you seen krishna in your life Prabhu was speaking. What it concerns to you? I have seen, or I have not seen. What it concerns to you? You like to see or not? You like to see or not? That I can arrange. This is a challenging mood we have. <coughs> Why we cannot see Krishna? Because Krishna is adhokcha jo vastu. And as per the definition of Sri Jiva Goshi Bhag, we already know many times before I discuss. Adakcha jo bostu and akcha jo bostu, two type of object. One is absolute object, adakcha jo bostu, and one is not absolute object. And about adakcha jo bostu, Jiva Goshi Bhag speaking, adak krito akcha jo gyanam, tatha indriya jo gyanam jeno iti adakcha jo. That is called adhakcha jo tattha. Who is going to, you know, who is going to kick out of material efforts? I mean, akcha jo bichar. Whenever somebody out of his, you know, material conception, material education, like to know that supreme Lord, in that case, he can never know. It is not possible. That's why. Whenever somebody out of his material efforts like to to know Krishna Tattha, like to see, in that case Krishna Tattha is Adhakcha Jya Tattha, in in you know, always there. Achyuta Tattha can never be displaced from his own position, and when somebody going to put material effort, then this Adhakcha Jya Tattha going to kick out this Tattha. and going to secure its own personal eternal position you know adakshaja <clears throat> vastu we cannot 
no by the help of our sense organs. Krishna Bhaktu, if I say, I can see Krishna, I am watching the deity is very good in the temple, then surely I am watching Krishna, the deity, with enjoying mood. Otherwise, Krishna cannot become an object of my darshan. When Krishna become an object of my darshan, when Krishna become an object of my estimation, then surely, you know, Krishna is not adhakcaja vastu. Follow. As I'm an object of my enjoyment. So this way, we must be very careful. We are averse to Krishna and Krishna Seva. That's why we cannot see Krishna. Supreme Lord is not, we cannot see. Two types of Maya Vritti. Basically, Krishna Maya can be divided into two parts. First of all, Krishna cannot allow, Krishna Maya, that Maya cannot allow to see me Krishna. First point, Maya has two type of function. One is that Maya cannot allow me to see Krishna. Another is that, that Maya can cover up Krishna and can, you know, put aside, can put Krishna aside, cannot allow. These two type of disadvantage we are going to face in the way of so-called Krishna Bhajan. When Kulingamai, one village in Bardhavan, one village in Bardhavan is called Kulingram. Whenever Kulingram Basi, the dwellers of Kulingram, Kul Kulingram, when they ask about, you know, how we can, what we can do, then Mahaprabhu speaking Krishna Seva and Krishna Seva, Nam Sankirtan. You do Krishna Seva and Vaishnava Seva and Nam Sankirtan. These three, these three are the very urgent for abundant soul. You know, <coughs> Bhagavan is an object of my bhajan. Bhakta Bhakta, Bhakti and Bhagavan, all eternal, not that temporary. Bhakta, Bhakti and Bhagavan, the, these three are temp not permanent, not temporary, always staying in one platform, in that case we can get facility. If, I, if we are not trying to serve Krishna from heart, all the way, all the time, <coughs> without any contamination, <coughs> Until and unless we become busy to serve Krishna from heart, you know, the, till then we cannot have any realization of Krishna Vishaya. Mixed effort, we can do some material job, also we can do some bhajan. Mixed, mixed effort cannot give us facility to see Krishna. We are kapat. We are going to speak. I am doing Krishna Bhajan. I am also getting up 3 o'clock in the morning, doing one like Harina, everything. But I am kapat. From heart, I know it for sure, I am not doing Krishna Bhajan properly. Only, I am going to claim that I am the servant of Krishna, but actually I never think so from heart. Actually, to be frank, we are the servants of our sense organs and mind, material mind. We, actually, to be frank, we are the, we are the servants of our sense organs and material mind. So long as a jiva cannot develop pure intention to serve Krishna, Seva Vritti, up to that point, he cannot get Krishna Tattva properly. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. Who is Guru? Who is Krishna Tattva Vetta? Not that a Brahman can get Tattva Vetta, you cannot get, not that. So, 
কিবা শুদ্র কিবা নাশি কিবা বিপ্র কিবা নাশি শুদ্র কেন নয় যেই কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্ববেত্তা সেই গুরু হয় এক্সটার্নালি রায় রামানন্দ গোয়িং টু এক্সিবিট দিস টেকিং বার্থ ইন এ ভেরি লো কাস্ট ফ্যামিলি এক্সটার্নালি উই ক্যান সি হরিদাস ঠাকুর টেকিং ইন দ্য ভেরি ভেরি ইউ নো জওয়ান ফ্যামিলি ইট ম্যাটার্স লিটল ওয়ের ওয়ের এ গ্রেট ডিভোটি টেকিং বার্থ হিজ বাজন is the most important thing so long as a bandit so, uh, so long as a jivatma not going to develop a pure intention to serve krishna till then there is no possibility that he can know krishna tattva and deliver lecture in front of public not possible he himself don't know maybe memory power is very good he can speak something papa speaking up to that point i think the message of goranga not going to enter our our ear till then till then the message of goranga mahapu not going to enter your our ears otherwise by now we are supposed to serve krishna from heart under the guidance of mahaprabhu i mean guru varga those who are following sri chaitanya madhupyebhyo eh শ্রী চৈতন্য প্রভম বন্দে বালো পি যদন গ্রহাত অল ডিফারেন্ট শ্লোক আই টাইম টু টাইম এ টোল ইট ইজ আওয়ার অনলি ডিউটি টু সার্ভ কৃষ্ণ অ্যান্ড ক্রাসনা ডিভোটিস বিকজ বাই দ্য মার্সি অফ গ্রেট ডিভোটি মাই গুরু পাত পদ্মা বাই দ্য মার্সি অফ গ্রেট ডিভোটি মাই গুরু পাত পদ্মা আই ক্যান গেট দ্য ফেসিলিটি টু গেট ভক্তি অ্যান্ড and on get bhakti i can i can get the pure intention to serve krishna by the mercy of guru pat padma if unalayed devotion i unalayed devotional practice i can stir and if my sambhi if my submission unto the lotus feet of guru pat will be 100% perfect and am my and my guru pat and sadguru all the 24 hours of four hours busy with krishna bhajan in that case be sure today or tomorrow i can get darshan of bhagwan bhagwan cannot pass away i can get darshan of bhagwan by the power of gurudev not by personal effort by personal effort it is not possible those who are going to de- declare themselves in renounce order like my avatar is they are going to we are in the renounce order we are taggy a detachment is fully there papa speaking in the name of detachment they are in the name of tag vairagya they are going to leave the absolute tatta itself in the name of vairagya in the name of tag detachment renunciation they are going to leave krishna bhagwan the absolute tatta what to speak how they can get darshan of bhagwan it's not possible each and everybody busy to exhibit himself in preaching field nobody like to ex- nobody like to project the nobody like to project the glories of guru vishnu nobody like to project the glories of popa and bhakti vinod thakur and our guru varga nobody everybody like to project himself so that everybody can worship him and he can get false pratishta and honor sila popa had given one example very nice example popa given so that we can open our eyes clearly popa speaking in kushtia city kushtia one city at present in bangladesh that time it was in india in kushtia city and all over bangladesh is being all here and there most of the people they are sahajya <coughs> they like to maintain their sahajya bhajan they are less interested to actual bhajan so many incident but still there is also some devotees they like to maintain their exclusive bhajan not that everybody because most of the parsas para farnalia they are all most of them they are from Bangladesh, at present Bangladesh, East Bengal, they are coming from there. 
like Mahaprabhu's father, mother, Aditya Gosai's father, mother, <coughs> Sivas Pandit, <coughs> who not? Almost everybody they are from Bangladesh, so I cannot pass this kind of remark. They have no pure devotion. They have, by at present, due to Sahajiya preaching, they are also going to take, you know, this kind of mood to do Sahajiya Bhajan. Actually, not that. So, in Kustia city, in Kustia city, in Kustia city, which is situate, situated in Bangladesh, at present Bangladesh, there was one Hari Sabha, there was a society of Hari Bhajan society, Hari Kirtan society. There was one Hari Kirtan society, big society, and by chance, it is due to Kali, they started fighting with each other. Then the total society was divided into two parts. One society originally going to you know, do kitten, everything there. Another party, they are going to take another place where they are going to do kitten. And very often there are competition going on. Who can do nice kitten? And, and in which party you can get pure devotee? This kind of competition always going. At present, everywhere. At present, everywhere, this kind of jealousy, competition, fighting. Everywhere. But they cannot believe those who are expressing jealousy, they cannot admit that we have jealousy. They can say we are Nirmasa, that Maharaj is jealous. That's why speaking this way. They like to avoid speaking about the topics of Prabhupada and Bhakti Vinod They like to prove themselves more elevated, more, you know, an you know, open heart. They like to prove. But actually they like to destroy the whole Sampada. Just a few days ago, by the suggestion of some 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 devotees, they, they wanted to take decision. Actually, you are speaking Harikatha, but most of the people, they cannot hear. Very minimum people. So better we can preach in such a way, in one temple we can, you know, arrange, we can pay something. But whenever they speak my name, they say no. They can, they can, they can give the shop to material man, to earn money. Even to a pros, they can give. They cannot give to me. They have the committee. They have taken decision not to give. But I am going to pay money. Only Harikatha and books can be there. So long I am distributing books to all different marts. I am not going to take even a single price from anybody. But idealism actually at present, they are not going to see any idealism. They are going to see the present condition which way the air is blowing? Prabhupada speaking, Jokon Jedika Hava Boy. They are watching which way the air is blowing, like political party. They can, <laughs> they can switch over to that end. They can go this way. Anyway, so there is no competition going on. Then the original party is there and some party they break and go and make another society you know another team somehow there was there was some function harikatha A harikatha mean harikita harikatha at present so not so important any society you go any society without like a spy you can go anywhere without informing them you can find it is not so important as going, it is, it, is, it is just like office, just like office decorum. As somebody can speak something, somebody can, okay, half an hour we can give. We have no time, we are busy with business. This much there. <coughs> anyway, some function was arranged at the society and the society members, they took decision to invite the old Kitan party of that Harishava. Well, they are going to invite them and from... <coughs> That old Kirtan party, Harisabha, as some group coming and the main Kirtanya, main Kirtanya personality is doing Kirtan. He started doing Kirtan in such a way so that he can, that is, so that he can earn big name and fame. Is doing Kirtan in such, such a lucid way, sweetly. Sweetly, this word I use 
for material people. Because it matters little whether somebody having some nice tone, voice. Prabhupada many times told, we, Bhagavan is less interested about nice tone and rhythm and musical instrument. Bhagavan like to catch, Bhagavan like to get the test of your heart. How you have sophisticated your heart is with bhakti, you know, I like to take. But we are busy with external things, like how to you know, enjoy popularity. Well, if you speak this way, surely you are not going to get popularity in the whole world. Anyway, but still, I am sure you are going to satisfy Supreme Lord. There is, you know, there is option. You can satisfy Supreme Lord or you can satisfy public like a pros. It's up to you. But everybody is busy with the second one. Anyway, so the Kirtan started and the main Kirtan leader, he started doing Kirtan in such a way that everybody, material people, they were very much hypnotized. There was a mammoth gathering and they all started appreciating, oh, so nice Kirtan, so nice. Oh, they started dancing. This way, finally, the leader of the Kirtan party, he gone faint to show ecstatic feeling like Asru, Kampa, Astrosatik, Bikar, you know, shaking all head and body. He fell down, fell down on the ground, fell down on the ground. He started exhibiting nice Baba. Then all Kitan body wanted, started throwing flower, Puspanjali. Oh, so nice Baba. But nobody knows he is a cheater. Who can know? Like one man coming to go to Bhaji Maharaj. Bhaji Maharaj asking, where from you are coming? I am coming from Navaddi. Navaddi where? There was a very nice, uh, you know, Harikatha, Brahma Gita. There. And the place name, Kuliya. Harikatha there. Bhaji Maharaj speaking, don't go there. Why? 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 Don't go there. It is not Harikatha. Not Harikatha. Very nice Harikatha there. Everybody rolling down on ground. They are feeling ecstatic, you know, feeling. Babaji was speaking, they have passive calm. They have passive calm, they cannot fulfill their passive calm. That's, they cannot fulfill their, it, that's why they are going to show passive calm. They cannot fulfill their calm. Oh really, don't go there. Even the speaker, he is not speaking Brahma Gita, he is speaking money, 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 sweeter than nani. Speaking, go and try to throw, try to dig that place and throw out 20 feet mud from that place and refill with Ganga mud and with cow dung and Ganga water. You try to purify that place. What do you say? Yes. At present, if somebody is going to speak, then somebody is going to shoot him. At that time, at least Gaurkisar was just speaking. Nobody, no, now at present nobody likes to speak. Because they know if I speak, then everybody can go against me, whole world. But Baba speaking, if the whole world go against me, I, 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 I never care. I don't care. So the Kirtan party leader, he was in, you know, like in, in a Baba stage, is going to cheat people, but people, they don't know. They know nothing about Baba. They are appreciating, giving so much pranami, this, that. After that, after some day, there was another function in another place. Then that time, they are going to invite the second Kirtan party. They break and go and make. So, they are the secretary. They are the secretary going to arrange nice Kirtan man, Kirtan, Kirtan leader and going to request him very nicely. Secretary going to speak. We are going to pay you this much amount. Be careful. <clears throat> we are going to pay you this much amount. So you will have to show, you will have to show nice Baba and there is competition. Your Baba should exceed their Baba. So we can get, enjoy more and more honor. So there is competition going on. Then the kitchen leader was very happy, very happy. 
So he went to that Kirtan Shabha, he started doing Kirtan and he was doing Kirtan. After half an hour, he gone faint eh? and after that, you know, he was, you know, showing some Baba, but that the uh, scorchy, but the scorchy sunlight of, you know, Baisak just, you know, you know, you know, Baisak just, it actually, actually, uh, uh, April, May, very, very scorchy sunlight, that the man was feeling disgusted, because the sunlight was there, he fell down on ground, he couldn't calculate that, that, I should, uh, he couldn't calculate where to, where to show Baba, by chance, uh, he is fell down on ground, and that ground was, you know, on a concrete place, and the sunlight was so hot, that after 20, 20 and a half an hour, he was bound to get up. Then the, then the secretary, then the secretary was very angry. I told you to, I told you to show, there was competition. I told you to show more Baba. Within a very short time you are going to break your Baba. We are defeated. Whereas I told you I can pay you a charana 25 paisa, that time was a havoc amount. 25 paisa, that time that was havoc amount, you cannot even imagine. <laughs> For so, the man was very angry, man swagging. Well, you are going to pay me 25 paisa, so how long I can show Baba? It is enough. That is the condition at present. Who can show Raganuga, Rupanuga, Baba without any base? He can do it very, and uh, you, know, you know, buy the whole market all over the world, like a medical practitioner, medical representative. But Pope was speaking, Pope was speaking, in a drama, you cannot expect any reality. There is no practical thing in a drama. In a drama, when a drama is going on, you cannot expect any practical thing. Because in a drama, there is no reality. So drama is drama. And actual bhajan is actual bhajan. So foolish whole world, foolish people, they are going to confuse what to do. One incident I can remember, I heard from Guru Maharaj. But there was one big, you know, there was one big, you know, drama about Ram Charitra. Ram Chandra, Rava and everything, and Hanumanji Maharaj, all everything, they arrange. They are going to decorate everything. Every day Ramayan going on seven days continuously. First of all, these, that, Ajodha Kando, Sundar Kando, these, that, they are going on seven days. <coughs> but in the meantime, it is the arrangement of Supreme Lord. I don't know. The Hanumanji Maharaj, who is, who is playing, who is acting in, who is playing in the role of Hanuman, he become, he become very sick. He cannot attain that drama, to play the drama properly, then everybody was very conscious. And actually that day, somehow if somebody, if they, if they can arrange somebody in place of that actual actor, somehow they can pass away. Because, the, because that day, especially that day, Hanumanji, Hanumanji Maharaj has to play a very minimum time role. Then the manager, I mean the secretary, took decision to hire a man from a tea stall. Then in the, in the village, in the village there was a tea stall, and the owner of the tea stall he was just like monkey, big health, big very stout figure. Then they going to request, please you come. How much money you can get by selling? You know, maybe two hours you will have to. Two hours before you will have to stop your shop and come. We can, we can, we can, we can arrange you your Hanuman dress, dress, and you have to play in the. Oh, I know, I don't know acting. But oh, nothing to do today. Very minimum time you have to. Only 
you have to stand in front of ravan ravan can go on speaking all rubbish and all sing, all, and you can go on hearing nothing else nothing today you are play very very short time you have to come we can pay you the man was anyhow agree the man going to participate in the dra in, in the drama and you know, play background they are going to they are going to make that man monkey hanuman ji maharaj and ultimately <coughs> the time coming time came when he was supposed to go and stand in front of ravan ravan the where is anuman you call anuman that hanuman was brought in front of ram ravan how dare you burn the whole lanka now you know is going to speak all rubs and lanka before lanka he was brought before lanka lanka when when lanka was burned up before that he was brought in front of ravan and ravan speaking he was so powerful i heard i know he was so powerful but now ravan going to give order to his you know to, to his minister and everybody you can arrange fire in his tail you, you can put petrol and everything in the in his you know tail big tail arrange some cloth a clothing and everything uh, so that he can set fire in the tail to 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 kill him then ravan i mean the man that who is going to sell who is going to sell tea in the street stall he thought now ravan going to set fire in my but they never told me that uh, they are going to set fire in my tail so how i can now die then he is going to shout oh ra in a ra then hanuman ji maharaj who is acting in the form of hariman going to shout oh my lord oh pra oh ra ravan ji i am not actual hanuman the actual hanuman is at present today absent i am not i am that the tea stall owner <laughs> then whole you know whole you know gathering they started laughing this is the condition at present bhakti siddhant saraswati ji was speaking acting is acting drama is drama but there is no that you cannot expect any reality you cannot expect any reality in course of gradual bhajan we can nishtha ruchi asakti gradually we can go not that like a monkey i can jump and cross over this 100 kilometers ocean and reach lanka this way we can invite problem in our life we can invite problem in our life from this brihad bhagavatam rita today we are going to discuss about the humble attitude of of prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj is a great we know must going to going to pass away he never like to take any honor and position from gurudev naraj ji maharaj <coughs> and ultimately hanuman ji maharaj ultimately ultimately prahlad maharaj speaking ho oh, gurudev i can go on discussing so many facts and figure i can project in front of you my painful situation of my life and you can suffer so i don't like to speak much so i don't like to speak much this much is sufficient nirupadhi kipad nirupadhi kipad kipadro chit he nirupadhi kipadro chit he bahu दौ बहु दौर्भाग्य निरूपेन निरूपणेन किम चाय तु ही है निरूपाधि निरूपाधि किपाद्रोचित हे बहु दौर्भाग्य निरूपेन किम तब सुख जनन पश्यो तत्कुणा किंग पुरुषे हनुमति निरुपादी निरुपादिकिपाद्रचित हे बहु दौर्भाग्य निरूपेण निरूपणेन किं तब सुख जनन पश्यो तत्कुणा किंग पुषे हनुमती 
if I am going to narrate, if I am going to describe all my painful experience of my life, then simply you can feel, you know, feel pain. So I don't like to give you pain. So I am going to stop my description. I am not at all devotee. I am not at all going to enjoy the kipa of Bhagavan. I am sure about you, Gurudev. And why not you please go to King Purusha Barsha and personally you go and check up the Kripa Mercy, Hanumanji Maharaj enjoying the mercy of Ram Chandra. Why not you go? So I like to stop my description only. Only if I go on this, if I go on speaking this uh, about my mm, painful experience of life, you can. I am going to. I am going to put you in pain, painful ocean. So I don't like to speak. Why not you go? Please you go. And King Purusha Barsha, there you can check up how excellent Kripa Hanumanji Maharaj enjoying. You know, it is not story, it is not drama. You can go and check up, please. And you are speaking, Narsing Bhagavan appear for me, but actually, I don't know how far, how much it is, you know, it is, you know, practical to think that way. Hey Bhagavan, hey Gurudev, try to hear, please pay, pay attention to my request. To kill my father, Bhagavan appeared in the form of Nishinga Dev. And there were so many reasons was there, not only one reason. Not that Bhagavan coming to give me darshan. To kill my father, it was a must. Nishinga Dev appeared and after the duty and after the duty was finished, after the duty was over, immediately he disappeared from that place. So how Gurudev we can say Bhagavan came to give darshan to me, not that. Even I couldn't see my Lord properly. Bhagavan Navodhehi Matpritur Hananartham Narasinga Rupa Bhrit Sahasavi Rabhut Mahaprabhur Bihitartho Antaradhat Tadaivasa Yathakama Maham Natham Samyag Drashtuncho Nasakam Maho dodhi tate apashyam tathaivo sapnabat prabhum. Oh well, I couldn't see my Prabhu properly up to my satisfaction. I couldn't see. Because Bhagavan appeared after the duty was over, Bhagavan disappeared. Yatha kamam aham natham samag drashtum cha nasakam. I couldn't see. Up to my full satisfaction, I couldn't see, but he disappeared. And you are also going to say, well, Bhagavan, Bhagavan came there to catch you when Hiranyakasvi, your father, wanted to throw you from the hilltop into the ocean. There Bhagavan appeared to catch you like a mother to protect you. That is not a, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay or not? Well, yes, yes. That time he appeared, I don't know. No, but that was like a dream. Not practically couldn't see. Uh, somebody going to fall down from a hilltop, how can get proper consciousness, you know, alertness to see everything? You see just, that was like a dream. I could see, but just like a dream. Like I was thinking it is a dream, not practical. <coughs> <coughs> but in this respect, Ho Gurudev, O oh, great Gurudev, in this respect you can say Hanumanji Maharaj is all the way lucky, lucky, very lucky. And anyway, Hanumanji Maharaj is very lucky, Bhagavan. But because for a long time, thousands of years, he was discharging his seva, doing his seva duty. I mean seva, he was doing his seva. 
of his Prabhu without any problem, nirvigne, without any problem. He was doing full of enjoyment, any time, any seva. Sometime going to carry Ram and Lakshan, sometime going to fly, sometime going to sometime jump and go and cross this river, 100 kilometers. Sato Jojon, not 100 kilometers. Jojon means, you know, more. Four kilometers, around four kilometers is equal to one Jojon. So you see, <laughs> so Hanumanji Maharaj is going to cross and give the message of Ramchandra to Sita Devi, Shakti. So I think he is a very lucky because for a long time, thousands of years, he got the facility to serve his Prabhu. Hanuman Stu, Hanuman Stu Bhagya, Hanuman Stu Mahabhagya Stat Seva Sukho, Anyabhut. Hanuman Stu Mahabhagya Stat Seva Sukham Manubhut, Subahuni. Shubahuni Sahasrani Basaranam Abhinganakam Without any problem, he was doing flawless seva. Very, without any problem, he was doing very nice seva. <coughs> in Ramayana it is living 11 years, but in, in Bhagavatam it is 13 years. A different Puran, different kind of, you know, maybe it is Kalpa, different Kalpa. It is not that they are speaking lie, wrong information. You should think this way, according to Kalpa, different Kalpa, different kind of, you know, duration of time, of Seva, of Hanumanji Maharaj is calculated. Follow. So, Kripa... If you, Gurudev, if you like to estimate Kipa, if you like to estimate Kipa, then I would say, the Seva, the servant, who is doing long Seva for long, a long, a long time Seva, he is actually, you can claim that he is a Kipa Patra. <coughs> I am not Kipa Patra. What Seva I have done to Nishingadev? You know, <coughs> Hanumanji Maharaj was successful to see the lotus feet of Ramchandra up to his full satisfaction. Even the full Ramchandra, Lakshan, you know, Sitaji, all full. You know, he was successful. Unumanji Maharaj. Thousands of years he was doing seva. That's why Hanuman too, whenever giving argument, the Pallana is like, but but Hanumanji Maharaj doing nice seva for thousands of years. And he got the facility to see the lotus feet of Bhagavan up to his full satisfaction. What about me? And what to speak about Hanuman? Hanumanji Maharaj has some speciality. Actually, Hanumanji Maharaj has some speciality, you know. Hey Gurudev, you know it very well, he is a Pavan. Nandan Pavan Sutta. <coughs> Actually, he is the Angsha of Mahadev also. <coughs> In different Puran, you can get information. There is Shankar Bhagavan coming in the form of Ram. You know, Hanumanji Maharaj <coughs> is the Amsa. <coughs> anyway, Hanumanji Maharaj is a very stout figure, all powerful, is a mighty man, you know, superman. From very boyhood, all demigods, they are going to bless him. You can get this, you can get this, you can get this this way. Everywhere, all demigods, they are very happy with Hanumanji Maharaj. They are going to bless him in different way. So anyway, there is no disease. No disease going to touch the body of Hanumanji Maharaj. No tiredness, no sweat, <coughs> no old age, nothing. Is knowing not never going grow old age, never growing grow old age, never growing old age. This way, according to Ramayana, 
it is written more than 11,000 years. But as for Bhagavatam, it is written 13,000 years that Hanumanji Maharaj was successful to serve Bhagavan. And still today, when Ramji Maharaj is going to keep him as a representative, as, 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 a, as, a, as a representative, I mean guru in the material world, then Hanumanji Maharaj is going to take shelter there in King Purush Varsha. They are also he is going to worship that deity of Ram Chandra because deity and Bhagwan non different from each other. He is going to feelings. He is going to get the same feeling. No problem because he is always doing bhajan absorbingly. He cannot think that Ram Chandra is away from me. Anyway, this way. <coughs> So all the time Ramchandra is going to give different kind of seva and Hanumanji Maharaj is going to, uh, going to follow unbreakable Brahmacharya. Unbreakable Brahmacharya going to serve on Ramchandra. Ramchandra was very happy. Ramchandra sometimes used to give, give embrace. Ramchandra, actually Ramchandra sometime going to give embrace to Hanumanji Maharaj. So he was very lucky. Hanumanji Maharaj was very lucky. Very, very secret seva. Very, very personal. Like, like Bhagavan Sri Krishna can speak something secret to Uddhavji Maharaj. Because Uddhav is non dependent from Krishna. Similarly, what is not possible to speak in front of anybody, that kind of feeling, Ramchandra can speak in front of Hanumat, Hanumanji Maharaj. So actually there is in, in Ramayana and different places you can get the glorification of Hanumanji Maharaj. He is running more faster than the mind. More faster than mind. You know, Manu Javan Maharuti Tulla Vegam Jitendriyam Buddhimatam Varishtam Bhātātmajam bānarayo yūtha mukṣam sirāṁ dhūtam smaranam bhajāyam saranam mamāstu This way Hanumanji Maharaj is going to serve different time to time he is going to do seva and in childhood also he was so powerful in childhood in, even in childhood, even in childhood, he was so powerful. One day, you know, Anjana Sato, I mean, Hanumanji Maharaj crying and speaking to mother, you give me that, you know, is Hanumanji Maharaj some, going to point out the sun god to mother? And I need it, you give me. Mother said, how possible, my son? Son is son God. How can get? In our childhood also, mother used to play that way. I say, I like to ch catch that moon. Well, I'm inviting Chad Mama, Mama, maternal uncle. Oh, Chad Mama, come, come, come. This way, to make fool of us. This why Hanumanji Maharaj in childhood going to catch that as Surya, a very nice thing, I like to get and play with that, you know, I like to get the sun god, but sun god, how possible? Eh? Sun god, long distance, oh, I like to get it, then Hanumanji Maharaj crying, mother is failure to give, ultimately Hanumanji Maharaj is going to jump in childhood, very childhood, very, going to jump big way from the lap of mother, going to reach and catch the sun god. Follow what I say. In that case, the king of heaven, Indra Maharaj was thinking big problem because he was aware about the power of Hanimanji Maharaj. If somehow going to cast the sun god, there's a big problem. So Indra Maharaj is going to throw thunderbolt, Bajra, Hanuman, you know. Whenever Hanuman jumped from the lap of mother to catch the you know, Sangat, immediately the, the king of heaven, I mean Indra Maharaj, when they throw his missile, thunderbolt, thunder, Vajra. And the by, he was, he was stricken by Vajra, 
you know, Vajra going to strike him, his body, and Hanumanji Maharaj fell unconscious on the ground. Otherwise, he was supposed to catch the, you know, he was supposed to catch that, you know, you know, sun god, this is the power. So all, you know, Brahma, you know, when, when Indra Maharaj going to, when, when Indra Maharaj going to throw that Bajra, and when the Bajra, when the Bajra going to, when the Bajra going to strike the body of Hanumanji Maharaj, and Hanumanji Maharaj fell unconscious on the ground, then the father, I mean Pavandev, was very angry. Pavandev was very angry. How dare you attack my son, my only son? I cannot allow you to go free. Then Pavandev going to control the whole uh, inner air. And then everybody feeling respiratory, respiratory problem. Pavandev, the, I mean the father of Hanmanji Maharaj was very angry. He told, well, you are going to attack my son to kill him. I can also take revenge. Then Bayudev, I mean Pavandev, going to control whole air, you know, blowing. And all demigods and everybody, all the creation, the whole creation was in danger. Because they cannot take, there was, they were feeling respiratory problem. In that case, all demigods, they, are bound, they were bound to run to, you know, they were bound, they were bound to run to <coughs> Pitama Vishwa. Oh, Pitama Vishwa, try to find alternative. We are in big problem. Pitama Vishwa is saying, well, let, let, let us go to Pavan, to Pavandev in front of that Hanuman, Hanumanji Maharaj and, and Pitamaha, Brahma, or all demigods, they at a time going to give blessings. Uh, <coughs> oh, a small boy, Unuman, you can, you can never, you know, Jala Maran, death, if everything, you know, disease cannot touch you, and you can get long life, you know. <coughs> Jala Maran Varjito. Hello. <coughs> They are going to give nice, nice benediction. Then the Pavandev, the father was happy. Then the normal, normal condition came back. <coughs> and Hanumanji Maharaj is, you know, following, you know, Brihad Bratha, Brahmacharya Bratha. And he was very knowledgeable personality. And all knowledge of Shastra. Manu Javan Maruti Tulla Vegam. Jitendriyam buddhi matam barishtam. You know, among all intelligent, among all knowledgeable person, Hunuman is the topmost, Hunumanji Maharaj. <coughs> he is the Tattagga. So, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Yo barishta tamo balle devo brindo prasadataha shang prapto shadbaro brato Jara Maranavar Jitaha Hanuman about Hanumanji Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj about 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 Hanumanji Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj speaking. Yo Yo Valishto Tamo Bale Devo Bindo Pushadataha Shang Prapto Sadbara Brato Jara Marana Varjitaha, I already explained. He is beyond Jara Marana, death and you know anything, disease, everything, they are beyond Hanumanji Maharaj. By the blessing of all the Migors, including Pitama, Bham, Pitama Brahma. There was no fear, there was no reason of your fear in the life of Hanumanji Maharaj. Because you are over sanguine, you are over smart, over sanguine, over, you know. So, there is no fear in the life of Manumaji Maharaj. He was Nastik Brahmachari, perfect Brahmachari, who in whole life never see the face of any woman, nothing as following exact Brahmacharya. And he is a knowledgeable person knowing all Sastra. And everybody know, all in all Sastra, in all Sastra is openly written 
दैट महावीर हनुमान जी महाराज की जय हो विशेष स्पेशली ही इज नोन एट वेरी पावरफुल महावीर सो ही वॉज द टॉप मोस्ट सेवक ही वॉज द टॉप मोस्ट सेवक एमोंग ऑल द सर्वेंट्स ऑफ रघुपति हनुमान जी महाराज ही वॉज द टॉप मोस्ट सेवक अशेषो यात्रा सरोहित हो अशेषो स्त्रासो रही तो क्या वट ट्राई टू हियर अशेषो त्रासो रही तो महाव्रतो धरो कृति महावीरो रघुपते रसाधरण सेवक वट अशेषो अशेषो त्रासो रही तो अशेषो त्रासो रही तो महाव्रतो धरो कृति महावीरो रघुपतिर रसाधारण सेवक आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इज एक्सेप्शनल सेवक ही वॉज एक्सेप्शनल सेवक रामचंद वॉट आई कैन स्पीक मोर यू कैन गो एंड चेक अप टू सर्व टू टू कैरी आउट द ऑर्डर ऑफ रामचंद टू सर्व रामचंद he was successful to jump and cross over this 100 jojan 100 jojan mean almost 500 km you know 100 jojan shagar very easily to reach the kingdom of ravana i mean lanka and in asaka batika she was sita devi she was kept captive in asoka batika where all around different rakshas rakshas they are in you know, a watching they are guard man hanuman ji maharaj jumping and going to cross over this ocean sri ramchandra was successful to reach lanka and he took information where sita devi is now waiting to get the key power ramchand similarly you know same way he went to reach ashoka batika because hanuman ji maharaj is having all yoga siddhi hanuman ji maharaj is having all yoga siddhi automatically for the seva of ramchandra he is going to take the form of very very small fly for the seva of ramchandra now hanuman ji maharaj mahavir going to take the form of very small fly and going to reach the spot where sita devi waiting asoka batika all around and speaking in ears mother i am coming here by the instruction of ram don't fear i am the messenger of ram here is the document here is the document here is the ring here is the finger ring of ramchandra perhaps you have full knowledge about that ramchand hanuman ji maharaj going to show that a ring here you know ring you know one ring given by ramchandra to identify himself is going to show the you know finger ring and then sita devi was very happy then going to give all information for which he went there and sita devi also going to give some information for ramchandra so the, as a messenger he is going to carry that message up to ramchandra follow this way so so anyway there to serve ramchandra to carry out the order of ramchandra he was successful to jump and cross the very big ocean 500 km jojana and he was successful to reach the kingdom of ravana in lanka and he was also successful to reach the spot asok batika to meet you know to give assurance to sita devi Hanuman ji Maharaj was successful to 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 create panic. 
Hanumanji Maharaj was successful to create panic among Hanumanji Maharaj was successful to create a big panic among all the you know all, all the groups of Ravan. And he was successful to burn up whole Lanka. He was successful to break all different forts and you know castle. Break all. And finally, he was successful to give the message to Ramchandra and he got the he got the embrace of Ramchandra directly. You see, Hela Bilang Hita Gadhu Shatujana Sagaraha Raksho Raja Purostartu Shita Shasana Kuvida. Try to hear very minutely. Hela Bilang Hita Gadhu Shatujana Sagaraha Hela Bilanghita Hela Bilanghita Gadhu Satu Yo Yunasagara Raksho Raja Purasthartu Sita Shashano Kovidaha Bairi Shantur Jaku Lanka Dahuku Durgo Bhanjakaha Sita Bharta Haraho Shami Gada Lingana Gucharaha He is successful to great, great, great embrace of Brahmachandra. Like Raja Prataparuddha was very lucky to get the full embrace of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu asking, who you are, who you are? Suddenly you are coming to give me nectar. I am drinking nectar. I am penniless sannyasi, I am ever grateful to you, I have nothing to give, so I am going to give embrace to you. The king was, you know, king, the king was overflowing with joy. And he, was, and he was successful to get the embrace of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Can you imagine what kind of kipa? Also, Hanumanji Maharaj was acting as a chariot. No need of any chariot. Sometime Hanumanji Maharaj making his body, big body, because by the, by the, by the help of yogic power, Hanumanji Maharaj can make his body very small like a fly. Sometime by the yogic power, Hanumanji Maharaj can make his body like Himalayan hill. All possible power. His yogic power is there with Hanumanji Maharaj. So sometime, Hanumanji Maharaj, Ramchandra, Lakshmanji going to go somewhere. Hanumanji Maharaj speaking, Prabhu, you sit on my soldier. No, 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 you sit on my soldier, Prabhu. When going to take a big form, then Ramchandra and Lakshman are going to sit in the respective two cell soldiers and Hanumanji Maharaj is going to bend the bend the you know tail and going to keep the tail like a like a like an umbrella umbrella. Hanumanji Maharaj is going to bend the leg in Hanumanji Maharaj is going to bend the tail in such a way that as if it is like an umbrella. Sunlight or rain, nobody can disturb Ramchandra. So, Sha Prabhu Rabahoka Sestaha Shetos 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 Chatrita Pushka Pushakaha. What written? Sha Prabhu Rabahoka Sestaha Sheto Chatrita Pushakaha. Which one is tail? He is going to bend the tail in such a way from distance you can find one umbrella. Sukha Sano Mahaprishtaha Setu Bandhu Kriyagrani. You know, he is, going to, he is going to act as a chariot. Wherever Ramchandra likes to go, Hunmanji Maharaj is going to take Ramchandra as a soldier and he jump and go there and reach the spot 
within fraction, no fraction of second. Because it is written the speed, the speed of velocity of Hanumanji Maharaj is more than the speed of mind. Follow. And going to, you know, going to bend the tail in such a way on the head of Ram Lakshan so that it is acting as an as umbrella. And the very Bhagavan Ramchanda also feeling comfortable because there is very, his body is very nice, Hanumanji Maharaj. And <coughs> Hanumanji Maharaj going to arrange his two soldiers at the seat of Sri Ramchanda is Prabhu. And also we can remember all the troops, all the banner troops, all the monkey troops, they were successful to reach Lanka by the mercy of Hanumanji Maharaj. Because it was Hanumanji Maharaj who was successful to make a bridge system, bridge system between Shetubandha, Shetubandha, Rameshwaram, Rameshwaram, Shetubandha and their Lanka. Still today, over internet, if you, if you have the chance to go through internet, you can watch that inside that, inside that water of the ocean, still today, the picture you can see, there is, there is one bridge totally up to Lanka from, from Rameswaram. So it is not story. What is written in Ramayana, what is written in Bhagavatam, it is fact. Not any story. Follow what I say. Sha Prabhur Bahoko Sestra Sheto Chatri To Puchaka Shuka Sano Maha Prishta Setu Bando Kriagrani. So Setu Bando, how to make the bridge? Anuvanji Maharaj was the, was the topmost technician and engineer. He was successful. He was writing Ram, this word, in each and every stone, big block of stone. He is writing, see Ram, and going to throw the stone into water, and the stone flowing. This is the, this is the abnormal glory of Ram, Ram Nam. Follow. It is the abnormal glory of Ram Nam, exclusive glory. That one stone going to, one stone if you are going to throw into ocean, naturally the stone going to fall down inside the water. But when Hanumanji Maharaj each and out of his devotional mood writing, Siram Chandra, Siram, Siram writing in his stone and going to throw in the ocean, then the then the stone one by one, I don't know how them making as you know, making they acting as a bridge up to Lanka. So so the so the desire of division. So the so the desire of division was fulfilled because by the by the by the effort by the effort by the effort of Hanumanji Maharaj by the effort of Hanumanji Maharaj Bibishan could meet with Ramchandra and also Sugrip in Risha Singh of Parbat there is one hill in South India there by that by the desire of Hanumanji Maharaj Ramchandra meet with Sugrip follow so by the desire of Anmanji Maharaj, Bibishan was, his heart was fulfilled. And Anmanji Maharaj was successful to destroy the full troops, full troops of Rakshas soldier. Full troops, Rakshas soldier. Yes, you know, he destroyed. Anmanji Maharaj was successful. And and Bibishan was also successful, fulfilled his heart by the help of Hanumanji Maharaj. And you can remember Lakshmanji Maharaj to satisfy 
to satisfy the to satisfy the promise of brahmaji benediction was given to satisfy it because in simad bhagavatam 7th canto we know satyam vidhatum nijhitva vasitam what my servant what my sevak speaking it is true it can never go in vain so when brahma ji going to give bless you know bless meghnath you know that time lakshman ji maharaj was bound to go faint but material people saying their meghnath was very powerful so lakshman ji was defeated not that this is not the fact fact is that already meghnath was enjoying the benediction of brahma ji lakshman ji maharaj ananta dev he cannot allow the benediction he cannot allow the benediction of brahma he cannot allow the benediction of brahma to go in vain so to full to to satisfy the this you know benediction he was bound to go faint so now it is written when lakshman ji was developing some problem hmm shakti shell by the by the missile by the missile by the missile by the missile shakti shell by by the missile shakti shell which was thrown by indrajit here lakshman ji was bound to go in in you know bound to go faint that time ramchandra supreme lord and all whole troops they were shedding tears what will happen lakshman going to die if we cannot arrange the medicine overnight if we cannot arrange medicine overnight the medicine was spoken by one ayurvedic doctor so ramchandra was very anxious is because ramchandra going to play as a human being just like human being ramchandra was crying oh lakshman oh lakshman but the, there was a medicine but who can go it is the interior place of hanu it is the interior place of himalayan hill it was the interior place in himalayan hill it is called bishalla karani the name of the medicine ne name of of the medicine is bishalla karani one you know medicine ayurvedic medicine hanuman ji was speaking in front of ramchandra prabhu you order me i can go and come how it is possible hanuman is it possible for you to go yes what not possible you bless me i am immediately going i can come back within night time i mean before sunrise if before if if before sunrise hanuman ji mara not coming then surely lakshman ji going to leave his body this is the leela then after that what happened hanuman ji maharaj jumping and going to reach that you know bishalla karani one hill is there gandamadan parvat one hill you know name is gandamadan parvat there it is available this is the interior place of himalayan hill but who can identify there is no time so that he can give enough time to search out what is gandamadan and where is bisalla karani he can shout out there is no guidance so hanuman ji maharaj took decision to reach that spot and there is no time to search out to find out that ayurvedic medicine he hanuman ji maharaj took decision that if i can reach with the hill itself then the ayurvedic doctor can search out that medicine and apply the medicine to lakshman ji maharaj is more practical there is no time whereas night can over sun if sun going to rise then hanuman ji and maharaj is thinking if sun going to rise then how we can uh, you know apply this medicine to uh, lakshman ji maharaj this way in the surama 
one Rakshashi, they had a big problem. There was big problem. When Anumanji Maharaj is going to reach Himalayan hill, there are so many problems. In the form of Sanyasi, some Rakshas was making problem. Shurama going to swallow him. So many problems happened. But by the mercy of Ramchandra, Hanumanji Maharaj was successful to reach the spot. He took decision to carry, to carry the, to carry the, to carry the hill, to carry the hill itself. Gandamadan, there is no time. So he, you know, is going to jump in between. There were so many things. Bharatji Maharaj going to throw his arrow. He couldn't understand. Who is going flying? So much adversity. Bharatji Maharaj flying. After that, Bharatji Maharaj was crying to discover the situation. So anyway, then uh, finally Bharatji Maharaj going to bless Hanuman. He was successful to come back to Sri Lanka to give uh, to to uh, to in front of that Ayurvedic doctor. The Ayurvedic doctor immediately. You know, going to choose, you know, going to select the medicine from that hill, and Anumanji is going to keep back. Anumanji is going to keep back that Himalayan hill one part. I mean, Gandhavadan in the same place. Follow. <coughs> so, it was actually the fighting. Actually. Actually, fighting was going on. Actually, from Rama and I know that actually fighting was going on between Indrajit and 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 Lakshmanji Maharaj. And all so powerful. Indrajit was so powerful that all almost all you know full almost all you know you know soldiers and you know, monkey soldiers they were you know senseless. And finally, Ravan reached that place, and Ravan wanted to take that, you know, unfailable. Ravan wanted to, wanted to take up that unfailable, that, you know, Shakti Shul. Ravan, it was thrown by Ravan, and to, to, you know, to make, to make the blessing, to make the, to make the blessings of. Brahma to Ravan, Lakshmanji was bound to discover this Leela, Fen Leela. Actually, the Shakti shell was there with Ravan. Ravan finally, it is unfailable weapon, was you know discharged and finally to because if Anantadev Balaram going to you know fight and kill Ravan, then. Then the then the speech of Brahma, I mean the benediction of Brahma, uh, you know, become failure, useless, you know, false. That's why he wanted to make a success. So Sushen, the Ayurvedic doctor, the name of the uh, the name of the Ayurvedic doctor was Sushen. Sushen giving order. To Hanumanji Maharaj, and by the blessing of Hanumanji, by the blessing of Ramchandra, Hanumanji Maharaj was successful to go back, go to collect that medicine. I mean the total hill, and he was successful to come back. This way, this way, Lakshmanji Maharaj, you know, you know, conscious. This way, this way, this way, the consciousness. This way, the consciousness of. This way, the consciousness of Lakshmanji Maharaj came back. So, <coughs> it is also written on actually <coughs> Prahlad Maharaj speaking more and more to glorify Hanumanji Maharaj. <coughs> So, Palladma speaking, Sita Pramodano Swami Shat Prasadri Kobayanam 
सीता प्रमोदन सीता प्रमोदन स्वामी सत् प्रसाद को वाजन आज्ञात्मेश्वर शात्रो आज्ञात्मेश्वर शात्रो स्थित योपी बिरहा बी बिरहा सह वेन हनुमान जी महाराज गोइंग टू गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रॉपर इन्फॉर्मेशन टू गिव एश्योरेंस टू सीता देवी देन सीता देवी वॉज वेरी हैप्पी तो देन हनुमान जी महाराज वॉज ऑल्सो एन्जॉइंग द फुल कीपा ऑफ सीता देवी सो ऑटोमेटिकली बाय द मर्सी ऑफ सीता देवी हनुमान जी महाराज वॉज सक्सेसफुल टू गेट द टॉप मोस्ट कीपा ऑफ रामचंद्र इज क्वाइट नेचुरल बिकॉज रामचंद्र एंड सीता देवी नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर एज पर वेदांत सूत्र शक्ति शक्ति मतोर अवेद वी नो इट वेरी वेल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ रामचंद्र बिकॉज लाइक उद्धव जी महाराज वेन उद्धव जी महा वेन वेन कृष्ण चंद्र वेन भगवान श्री कृष्ण वेन When Bhagwan Sri Krishna was going to climb his eternal abode, then Uddhaji Maharaj could realize and started crying like a mad. Prabhu, I cannot bear your separation. Prabhu, I cannot bear your separation. Please, you will have to take me with you. Then Bhagwan Sri Krishna was speaking, "You are my beloved servant. You are doing seva. What is my desire? That should be your desire. So I wish." I like to keep you here in this material world as an acharya, as an acharya. So you like to go with me. I like to keep you as acharya in this material world. Udhav, it is your duty to carry out my order. It is my request. You can go to Badi Narayan to do bhajan there. Also, you can stay in another form in Uddhav Kunda in Giriraj Maharaj Govardhan Radha Kun Parikram. <coughs> Now, actually, it is Govardhan Parikram while going to enter Radha Kun area. <coughs> Follow this way. Uddhav Ji Maharaj both Uddhav Ji Maharaj Uddhav Ji Maharaj present both in Padiga Sram and in Uddhav 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 Kunda. So. Somebody going to ask me why, Maharaj, you choose the place Uddhav Kunda to start Gauriya preaching? Then I give answer. Actually, Bindavan is not a place of preaching. Bindavan is a place of bhajan, exclusive bhajan. But still, under the guidance of our Guru Barga, we are bound to speak Hari Katha there to change the concept, wrong conception of other sampradayas. So I choose. I was bound to choose that place, Uddhav Kunda, because Uddhav is Gan Para Bhakta. Predominating factor of Uddhav is Gan. But at the same time, Uddhav going to get full teachings from Radharani and sh all Shakhis Manjari. So I thought it is the proper place. So preaching going on there, nice Hari Katha going on all the time. This way, like Uddhav. When Bhagwan Sri Krishna going to keep Uddhav as a as a as a as an acharya in the spiritual world. Similarly, when Hanumanji Maharaj wanted to leave this world, wanted to climb the eternal abode of Ramchandra with Ramchandra, I like to go with you to Ayodhya. Huh? I like to go. I like to go. I like to go. I cannot bear your separation. Ramchandra speaking well. You will have to carry out my order. Whole life you are going to carry out my order. You have to take. You have to stay here as an acharya in the material world. Otherwise, who can teach? So Hanuman, anyway, you will have to stay here. Then Hanuman Ji Maharaj, by the order of Ram Chandra, anyway, he cannot violate the instruction of Ram Chandra. He is going to follow the instruction of Ram Chandra. Going to stay in. King Purusha Varsha, they are whole day and night. Hanuman Ji Maharaj acting as a charya, because acharya ship 
Because the Acharya Sipa, Hanumanji Maharaj, eternal Acharya Sipa, not to exhibit. Like I told already, the Acharya Sipa, like I already told, the Acharya Sipa of Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada is eternal Acharya Sipa. All time Acharya Sipa. Not that, that when Prabhupada was there, then he was exhibiting his Acharya Sipa. Not, not that. His Acharya Sipa is eternal Acharya Sipa. Even today, where Prabhupada gone, we don't know. Eternally present in eternal dham, but maybe by the desire of Bhagavan, he is going to deliver all other people in another Brahmanda. Who can say? I am not sure about it. Because I have no love for Prabhupada. How I can know? That's why, by the order of, by the order of Ram Chandra, Hanumanji Maharaj was bound to stay there in this world, I mean there in, you know, King Purusha Barsha, according to order. But anyway, Hanumanji Maharaj, it was, it was, it was, it was really impossible. It was really impossible for Hanumanji Maharaj to bear the separation of Ramchandra. Anyway, there was, there was deity of Ramchandra. So anyway, when Hanumanji Maharaj singing the song, Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. When Hanumanji Maharaj singing this song, then as if all the pores of the body, you know, all hair, hair tips, as if Hanumanji Maharaj singing, singing this song in mouth, but all body going to response. Whole body, all the pores of a hair trip going to speak, Siram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Siram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Hanumanji Maharaj playing musical instrument. And when Hanumanji Maharaj is going to feel strong separation from Ram, unbearable, unbearable. Hanumanji Maharaj thinking unbearable separation. Immediately, Ramchandra coming in front of Hanumanji Maharaj to give darshan. This way, there is a playing between Hanumanji Maharaj and Ramchandra going on all the time. Hanumanji Maharaj serving. In the form of deity, Ramchandra is present there. Hanumanji Maharaj never think it is deity. Even with whole troops, they are, they are singing and dancing in front of Ramchandra. In front of. You know. And all the time, Hanumanji Maharaj, all the time, all the time, Hanumanji Maharaj is busy hearing Ramayana and chant and singing Ramayana. Hanumanji Maharaj is going to engage himself. It is, it is an automatic. He is not Shadan Siddha Jiva, eternally Siddha. So for eternal Siddha, it is not factor. We cannot say he is going to engage himself in, in hearing and chanting Ramayana, singing Ramayana. It's an automatic. Because Ram and Ram, the name of Ram, try to understand. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Prahlad Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj going to, Prahlad Maharaj going to pass this kind of remark. Prahlad Maharaj going to pass this kind of remark that due to strong feeling of separation and due to his, you know, strong affinity and to a little speed of Ramchandra and because Hanumanji Maharaj doing continual Sankirtan of Ram, Ram Katha, Ramayana, singing and hearing. So naturally, Hanumanji Maharaj going to get the continuous association of Ramji. Why? Because Ram Katha is equal to Ram. We know this Siddhanta. Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar. If we speak Krishna, then Krishna is present. If it be appropriate, not bonded soul when speaking Krishna, then Krishna is not present. Krishna Nam, Krishna Nam means Krishna. 
So when Hanumanji Maharaj singing from heart and hearing Ram Katha, Ram, Ramayan singing and hearing, so in course of his hearing Ramayan and singing Ramayan, automatically he is going to he is going to get the association of Ramchandra's beloved master. So no question, no doubt in it. Because when Ram Katha means Ramchandra himself present. Ramchandra himself present. Atmanam, Atmanam, Nitto Tat Kirti, Savanenu Upodharayan, Tat Murtir Parshotaha Tishtan, Rajati Adhyapi Purvabhat. Somebody can pass remark that Hanumanji Maharaj was left. Somebody can pass. Somebody can pass remark that Hanumanji Maharaj was left by Ramchandra here in the middle world. But Prahlad is not that. The secret Siddhanta is that. Atmanam Nitto Tat Kirti Savaneno Upodharayan Tan Murti Parshoto Tishtan Rajati Addapi Purvabhat Prahlad is going to pass one very nice Siddhanta remark. Prahlad speaking, somebody can say, well, somebody can pass this kind of remark that Hanumanji Maharaj is left in this material world by Ramchandra. But Prahlad speaking, I think not that. Because all the time, Hanumanji Maharaj singing Ram Nam, Ram Katha, Rama and everything. So in the form of Ram Nam, Ram Katha, Ramji Maharaj is exact present. So somebody can say, that Hanumanji Maharaj is left by Ramchandra, but I think, Prahlad Maharaj speaking this Siddhanta, I think, Prahlad Maharaj speaking this Siddhanta, that I think still today, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, I think still today, Hanumanji Maharaj have the privilege to stay just beside Ramchandra and serving Ramchandra. There is no gapping. It is due to some Leela, due to some reason, so that Hanumanji Maharaj can grow more and more love. Vipralamba can give more love. Love can increase more Vipralamba because you cannot see. Atmanam nittu tat kirti sravaneno upadharayan tan murti parshotat tishtan rajati adhyapi purvabhat <coughs> then finally Prahlad is going to quote one sloka you can remember you can remember the sloka you can remember spoken by you know Bhagavan himself eh? all the Acharyas Hanumanji Maharaj is showing the Acharyas of Dasya Rasha Dasya Acharya follow Sri Vishnu Sravane Parikshit Abhavat Bhayasaki Kirtane. You can remember. I can discuss no time today. I'll have to go to some some place immediately. You know. So Prahlad Maharaj is going to pass very nice remark. Yeah, Gurudev, perhaps, perhaps you are not going to forget that Siddhanta Vichara Bhagavatam. Kapipatir Dashe. Eh? Perhaps Gurudev, you are not going to forget. Swamin Kapipatir Dashe Ittadi Bachanai Khalu Prashiddo Mahima Tasho Dashameva Prabhu Kipa. Ho Gurudev, ho Prabhu. You can realize now what kind of exclusive Kipa, abnormal exclusive Kipa Hanumanji Maharaj enjoying. He is actually servant of Ramchandra. Vishnu Kipa Patra. Swamin Kapipati Radashe Iti Bachana Ichi Itwadi Bachana Ikhalu. This kind of standard remark, because Mahaprabhu speaking, Bhagavadji Mahaparan is a standard. This, this Siddhanta from Bhagavadji Mahaparan acceptable for all. Aratta Bhagavan Vayasasthanayasta Dhamma Vrindavanam. Ramma Kachi Dupasana Brajabodhi Barge no Jakil Pita Simad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Pema Pumartha Mahano Sri Chaitanya Mahapur Matam Idam Tattadaranapara 
It is the final conclusion of Mahaprabhu that any Siddhanta from Bhagavad is acceptable without any hesitation, without any doubt. So, in Bhagavatam we find Sri Vishnu Sravane Parikshit Abhavad Vaiyasaki Kirtane and Prahlada Smarane, you know, follow Lakshidevi Dasho, you know, Padashevane. So, all we can discuss tomorrow. Swamin Kapipatir Dashe Ittadi Bachanai Khalu Prashiddho Mahima Tashu Dashomeva Prabhu Kripa. So this kind of standard remark going to identify what I am speaking truth. Hey Gurudev, you can glorify, you can understand the glories of Hanuman. Atwev, the service done by Dasha, like Hanumanji Maharaj, it is the symptom of Kripa, not like me. I am also thinking the lotus feet of Bhagavan, but sometimes full of tension and anxiety. My Smaran Bhakti, you can say it is also approved in Sastra, I know. But my Smaranakha Bhakti, my Smaranakha Bhakti is not perfect. Because I am thinking the lotus feet of Bhagavan with some pool of anxiety, tension. So how you can say I am doing perfect Seva of Prabhu. In fact, I have done no Seva. Hanumanji Maharaj is successful to discharge Seva, different kind of Seva. So you can, oh Gurudev, please, it is my request, don't try to glorify me. Where, please, you go and have a look. You can go and have a look there, what is happening there in Kim Purusha Barsa. You show the Kripa of, Kripa of, say, Ramchandra on Hanumanji Maharaj. So you can, please, you know. So you see, Brahmananam Sahasrebhyo Satrayaji Vishishwati Shatrayaji Sahasrebhyo Sarva Vedanta Paragaha Sarva Vedanta Vitkotya Vishnu Bhakto Vishishwati Vaishnavanam Sahasrebhyo Ekanti Ka Vishishwati Bancha Kalpatur Vasikya Pasindu Vipacha Patitanan Pavanabho Vaishnavabhyo Namo Namo